like I said in part one, there's a place on here for all of us, man. But it ain't YouTube. YouTube is not the place for you to be teaching dumbass people. I mean, you have been talking about the same subject since you started. And people can't understand you enough to tell you, okay, we understand what you're saying. We understand that you've seen ignorant black women parade as if, you know, we can't do no wrong. All the, the, the men fuck up. But you know just as well as I do, there's more black women than black men. You also know great grandmama and all of them were the pillars of the community. Like you said, the young girls try to act like they um, know everything. But if you ask these young black ladies to cook something, they can't cook like grandmama, but they want to claim to have grandmama's, um, what's the word, wisdom and knowledge. And another thing. I don't know how you saw it, but this is how I saw it. Most of the brothers and and men were bums in the fucking hood. Most of them. Like this, if you put the black man in a percentage, the percentage of black guys doing the right thing, doing the thing, was like 4%. And the other 96% of the motherfuckers was the drug dealers, the hustlers, the scammers, uh, the players, like me, I'm, I'm a kept man. I guess back in the days, I would have fell in line with the motherfuckers that are the players. I was cool. I, would've, I probably would have been a pimp type back in the day. Um, the whole situation is screwy. I heard black women talk bad about black men my entire life. Now, when it comes to YouTube and shit, and trying to be unity and, and good versus bad and black and white and all that shit, the black issues pale. I mean, the issues between black people and white people and black people and other people are way more significant to the advancement of black people than a black man hating a black woman and a black man, woman hating a black man. That shit is so fucking phony. It's phony shit. And like I say in a million of my videos, these black women can find a black man. It's just that throughout most of our lives, just like me and you, we have seen so much foul shit said and done to black men by black women that like you said, when a black man speak out, it's like, man, shut up, that's private. Shh, shh, Willie, Willie, shut up, Willie, shh, white people ain't supposed to know that, be quiet, it's personal, shh, black woman is supposed to be the greatest thing that happened to the planet, come on man, back in the slavery days, the black women fed white babies that milk, yes, so the black woman is the most, she was the human cow. They all drank mother's milk from Africa. See, the master went down there and fucked them when he wanted to. Half the time, the nigga was over in the corner, scared because master done slapped him three or four times in front of his woman. We have been demoralized in front of our women so long throughout history that when they demoralize us publicly, we either just shut the fuck up and take it and walk away. Once we speak out about things like that, we're anti-black woman, we're, we're anti-black. There's a whole bunch of shit black women did to hurt my feelings, but they ain't gonna stop me from loving every one of them to try to give me love. But I got a wife, so I can only love one of them. Ha <laughs> ha! Other than that, if I wasn't with my wife, would I be with a white woman right now? Odds are, it would, it would be that way. I would probably either be with a white woman or a Mexican, because I've been with black women. I've been with black women, my fat ones. Skinny ones, fine ones, ugly ones, dumb ones, and with a, right now with a brilliant, smart, successful minded woman. She doesn't have everything she wants out of life because I'm apparently a bum or whatever. I don't know. I'm the stereotypical I'm the stereotypical uneducated black man with a woman who is trying to make him a better man. But instead of making me a better man, she put me on a flat line. In other words, I'm not a bad guy anymore. 
but the things that I used to do to get ahead in life, I can't even go there or I lose my woman. So when I go to work and I have a job and it's a good job and a job becomes part of my family and as soon as I tell these people in charge, I can't do it, I'm doing something with my family, what are you doing? Or we're going to, to Vegas or we're flying to Tahoe or we're going to be going to Hawaii. And people look at me and see, they see a street man and automatically, this is what the woman told me on that one job, who allowed you to go to Hawaii? How did you get to go to Hawaii? And it's not that black people can't be successful with one person going to work and another person take care of the shit at home. Can't be like that. We're not successful to the point that we should be at because I'm not keeping up my end of the deal. And how can I sit here and tell you this open face? Because you had it different than me. Your goals are set different than mine. You are a good young black man. Your only problem, Sergeant Willie Pete, is that black woman for you, she's not where you at. She's not around you. She's not in that realm. She's not in that zone where you at. Because she live in another town. Because she live on the other side of the suburbs. Because she got too many hard-headed ass black friends putting people like you down. Just because you date a white woman, that don't mean that you can't never get a black woman. But I was told that. You keep on parading these white women around here, you'll never catch a black one. Maybe that's another reason why I'm with my woman. It's not that I fell subject to the situation and caved in because people were telling me you ain't going to get a black woman parading these white women around. And a few black women told me, I'm not fucking with you because you fucked with a white bitch. Not a white woman, a white bitch. There's some jealousy that even a no good nigga with a white woman is a bad nigga in the eyes of a black man. I mean, black uh, woman. And I'm sorry about it. I'm using the word nigga because young people use that word nigga. I hate using that word nigga. But if that's how people have to understand, then that's how we have to speak. So let me go on because this is Hood Report Part 2. Hood Report 1 didn't get linked to this and it pissed me off. I understand what you're saying, Willie. But people don't understand what you're saying because you constantly say it. And you constantly say it because of the stupid people telling you you're just being mean to black women. Instead of them saying, okay, this is what he see in this, this neighborhood. Let me tell him what I see. And then you will tell them something different. If people want to get Willie Pete off of this fucking subject, don't agree with Willie Pete. Just tell him you fucking understand him. And he will move on. I'm tired of people questioning you. Why do you talk about black women? Because this is what they're giving you to talk about. You will go ahead and agree with the man or disagree with him and let him move on. You're going to typecast him. And this is not for you right here, Willie Pete. This is for other people who say that you can only speak on black women. And you're the first whatever. Willie. Willie Pete. You're not in the military anymore, so I'm not calling you Sergeant Willie Pete. Because they got idiots out here with flagging campaigns that'll fucking take you down next week because you'll say something in a video and then you, he'll go home from his friend's house because they ain't got motherfucking the internet and he'll go home and see his mama and daddy acting out like what you just said. Then he looks back and see his sister having a good old time with the hard head motherfucker down the street. Fucking Willie P, let me flag that motherfucker for telling the truth. But there's more than one truth, Willie. And that's the problem. People don't see what you see, listen to what you say, and complain about you. Those who do, do see what you see agree with you. I agree and disagree with you. So where do I fit, Willie Pete? I fit right there with the people who understand you. And I understand you enough to say, Willie, will you please give me another subject to listen to you on because I love watching your shows and I love watching the people be mad at you for what you say as far as I'm concerned you could be an actor sitting in a room fucking with people and I'm having a good time watching it but you need to understand the essence of the Sergeant Willie P it's not to bash women it's to show people a different perspective of a group of people from one man's ideology you can't understand that. Don't watch the Sergeant Willie Pete. Until then, Willie, hit me on the phone. You got my number.